So for more on the euro crisis and the effects on the sovereign bond market, I'm joined by Jim Stenning from Fixed Securities. Jim, good to have you in. Thank you. And welcome back. We didn't get to see you last week. Um, but uh, obviously across the markets, in currencies, commodities, equities, we've seen a flight to safety, I suppose. And Most that's definitely. been seen in the bond market as well. Yeah, well, that's what we've seen here in Australia as well. Um, it's been very pronounced in the US, but we've seen our own rally in, in uh, the bond market here as well. We've also seen credit spreads moving out, um, not to the same extent that they have in the midst of the crisis uh, in uh, 18 months ago. Mm -hmm. But that's probably due to the, the lack of leverage in the market at the moment. But they are, they are edging out. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we're starting to see, uh, which is a little bit of concern, uh, is that um, I suppose the, the usual liquidity providers, particularly in the more liquid uh, securities, are not playing anymore. There, there's a reluctance to play. So, so that's, I think, so an interesting development. Mm. Um, you know, I think as, as these credit spreads spike out, uh, then the bids on, on, uh, on credit uh, seem to be diminishing. Mm. Just got the chart up there to kind of give people a bit of an idea. Yeah, well, it's interesting. You can, you can see the rally over the recent uh, week. I mean, that's in the face of, of uh, tightenings in monetary policy over the last six months. So mm. we've seen We've seen a lot of demand for, for Australian sovereign debt. Um, the European debt crisis is obviously at the centre of this. What's mm. the sentiment for, for Australian bond investors, essentially? Um, well, I suppose this? it depends what you know where, you, where you're investing. I think credit will suffer. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, you know we're starting to see that with spreads moving out. The interesting thing about the um, you know the, the, the crisis in Europe is, as we've said before, it just just won't go away. Mm. Um, so I think I think you know we can expect that um, that uh, you know that that zone, the euro zone, and the UK will be this quarry of bad news mm. that uh, that will um, unfold over the next year. Is is the risk uh, for inflation if we have? I mean, as you said, this is going to go on for years. In Europe, it's going to be hard to start raising rates in this environment. The US, they've upgraded growth forecasts but they still seem a while off raising rates there. Is there yeah. a risk that you get the inflation pressures building? I think well, the UK has already experienced yeah, some Yeah, well I think there's sort of two, two distinct camps. I mean I think probably, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean we sit sort of somewhere in the middle. I don't see it as being a, a major threat. Mm -hmm. We're starting to see lower levels of inflation, very low levels of inflation in the US. Whether that's a trend or whether we bump along at a certain uh, low levels for the, mm. for the time being, I think, you know, that's probably more likely. We just mentioned in the intro as well the German ban on uh, naked short selling. Uh, was that worthwhile? Well, I well, mean, what's you know, your view on that? It's interesting. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's really does, uh, you know, creates volatility. It's, it's symptomatic of a marketing crisis. I mean, if you look back to uh, when the wheels fell off Lehman Brothers, mm. uh, you know, these are the types of measures that were implemented to calm markets. So if you take a step back and look at where we are, mm. with these measures being implemented, it certainly doesn't indicate that. Uh, that uh, things are, are smooth sailing at the moment. Mm. So we're, we're in the midst of a crisis. We, people like to try and diversify to minimise the, the impact of you know these very volatile moves and of yeah. course downside moves. Um, yeah. You know when you look across all the markets, so you see currencies down, commodities down, equities down. Yeah, so you, you do. diversification is mean, uh, you know a difficult and, thing, I suppose. And look, I suppose the, the highlight is you're seeing uh, you know uh, pure zero risk fixed income uh, rally. Hmm. So, so that's that's the answer, I suppose. I mean, I think what in, in volatile times when there's uncertainty, what becomes appealing for investors is consistency of income hmm. and capital preservation. So, you know, we would expect that allocations to fixed income, particularly in this country, would, would, would will increase over time. Um, speaking of um, that, exactly, um, you are actually the biggest term deposit broker in Australia. We've had the moves right. uh, from the government to suggest that um, they can make uh, savings more tax effective in some ways. Yeah. Um, it was maybe a small step. It was. Uh, are you actually seeing any more interest, more calls coming to you from clients saying we want to put more money into cash because of what came out of the budget? Well definitely not that. Mm. I, th I think you know we, we take, a, we take a, a view I suppose that this is a, a small step along the way to where I think uh, this will end up. It's a significant change. It's a very new thing. Um, but it hasn't know, made a difference. It hasn't made a difference. Uh, I don't think it will make a difference in its current current form. So I think therefore we'll see adjustments to that sort of that, that uh, hurdle level of a thousand dollars Move, moved uh, higher, uh, and then perhaps we'll see some real traction. You, you think that there's you, you do hold that hope that they're going to raise that cap? Yeah, well I do. I mean, uh, you know. Well, you can hope. But how likely is <laughs> yeah, it? That's right. <laughs> Look, yeah, but I think it, it just makes a lot of sense, um, and I think that um, you know over time that. That, that will happen. Mm. Uh, so you're finding that what people with savings currently say, oh, that's great, that's a bit of a bonus, but you've got not new money coming in to deposit. Yeah, look, I think it's it? being, you know, okay. across the board, up from mm. all the stakeholders, it's, mm. it's not seen as being material okay. and, and sort of, I suppose, uh, habit changing. There's been, um, we chatted last week with uh, Stephen Nash about the retail bond market and the, mm. the, their efforts being tried 
they're, they're trying to make to you know to support that here in Australia a bit more. Yeah. But what feedback are you getting from um, big listed companies here well, in Australia I'm, about these regulations? Across the board, we're getting feedback that's very positive about the development of the market, and this is a really you know it's a positive step. There's a long way to go, I think, before we've got a perfect uh, system in place, but it's really encouraging to see that. I think from the very top end of town, these these uh, these issuers who are, by the way, very involved in retail markets elsewhere. Mm, <laughs> it's a bit of a paradox, but but um, you know they, they do have access to international capital markets, and there there are big big concerns around ex execution risk uh, and tenor. And, and with the retail, unproven retail market, it's sort of a chicken and egg situation. Where I do mm. think that we will see development is more in the smaller uh, listed companies, uh, you know, and so, so that's, a, that's an encouraging uh, development, I think. They can see the benefits, obviously, though. That's right. Of, of most the local definitely. Market. Most definitely. I mean, look, retail participation in, in the bond market will mean a lower cost of funds for, for issuers, and it'll mean it's a, it's, it's a diversifier of, of, a, of your liability base. So it's a mm. very sensible thing to undertake. Do you see any um, retail issues coming up soon? or predict any? Oh, look, I think that there's, there's a bit of talk about these things. I don't mm. think that um, this recent volatility in global markets is, yeah. is, is of any assist, real assistance. Um, it's certainly not, not driving the, the rates which people borrow lower. Um, so it may have, may have uh, stalled it a little bit. But mm. I think that there is, this is being seen as, as, a, as a development in this, in this capital market. Jim, great to have you in. Thanks very much. Thanks, we'll speak again next week with Jim Stenning, who's Managing Director of Fixed.